Wrap your hands around a Winchester Super X4. It's light on the shoulder and points and swings as smooth as honey butter on a hot biscuit. Most of all, it functions freely when the north wind blows cold. The fastest cycling, most reliable, best patterning auto loading shotgun ever made. The Winchester Super X4. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. So we are hunting this spot we call Freeze Flats. It'll be a great morning. You want it? Yeah. That happened really quick. We got that new 350 Legend by Winchester. Really excited to put it to work. Map. My Winchester just put a wall up on him. Holy cow. This week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, we're heading down south to the Lone Star State as Analogic's Mark Freeze lets his Winchester XPR bark on a mature Texas brush buck. Well, what do you think, Austin? I'm stoked for you, buddy. And not to be outdone, but just two days later, brother Wade Robinson also scores on a nice mature Texas deer. You know, we like hunting in the Midwest, but when we get the opportunity to go down to the lease, down to that 10,000 acres in Shackelford County, Texas, we never pass that opportunity up. This year, it's gonna be special. It's myself, Wade, Taylor, Austin, and Mark Freeze with Analogics. When we go down there, you never know who's going to be filming who. And this morning, Austin and Mark had a plan. They were going into one of our favorite places. We call it Freeze's Flat. Austin's on bow, Mark's on that 270 XPR. Surely one of these guys is gonna get it done. Let's do it. One of those days that you wait for all season, especially when you're down here in Texas. It's cold, pressure's rising. Deer cast says good, because the pressure's still not optimum, but it is clear. It's much gonna be much cooler today than it was the day before, so we're gonna go out and have some fun. This time of the year, you just never know what you're gonna see. We're excited about getting out there, though. Anytime the weather's like this, Regardless of the time of the season, it's generally a good sit. That's what it's gonna be. Yes, it is. Fun in the sun. I don't think I've ever hunted with Freezy either. Man of the hour, look at him. I have never hunted with Austin. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard he's a legend. Wow. He is a legend. Wow. He is a legend. Don't make me have to live up to I've that. I've heard you would whoop me if I went to Utah and had to find the moments. I wouldn't do that to you either. You we you just want guys for the fun. No. We're gonna have fun. A little Winchester and PSE action, huh? We're looking forward to it. Yeah. Either way, to Freeze's Flat we go. Freeze's Flat, we had that, actually last year was the first year we hunted that flat. We shot one buck with Taylor Mark, myself out of it. Brought him in from about 600 yards. It was, oh. it was pretty fun. It was epic. It was. Perfect, perfect. We are hunting this spot we call Freeze Flats. We've hunted this, I've hunted it a few times, but uh, last year we hunted it with Wade. I'm not gonna for forget mentioning Wade, Taylor, and Mark. And we actually shot a great buck. You can look over the whole flat, it's just gorgeous. It'll be a great morning one. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Freezes Flat is a north wind spot. It's a big open uh, plateau, if you will. You see a lot of bucks there cruising. Some of them come quite close, so that's why we wanted Austin to have that bow with him. But if they were out there at a distance, well, Mark was gonna let that XPR do the work. It's December the 2nd, dear summer the 2nd. And uh, I'm sitting in here, Freezes behind the camera, and we're sitting on Freezes Flat. It's a huge, wide open, yellow grass with timbered up draws. And we actually just caught Right at first light, we saw a big, mature seven. He was on a mission. It looked like he was maybe going for a doe or something. He was working pretty hard, but fingers crossed. Right at first light, they have some action. This buck comes in, makes his way out of there, and they're just sitting there hoping that he might come back. Well, a little bit later in the morning, 
a giant bodied eight point is right behind the blind on this fence line after a doe. Here he comes. I'm stoked for you, buddy. That was cool. That was pretty cool. Big open country. Let me get this guy out of here. Yeah, right on a cactus. What do you think of that, Oss? That is an awesome buck. <sighs> nice. How about that? Success in the Lone Star State yet again. Saw the buck early in the pre-dawn, and then eventually the sun comes up and unveils a beautiful Texas 8-point. Big old mature deer, and uh, it was really cool to see Mark and Austin go out there and have a good time together and uh, unfortunately wasn't in bow range, but uh, there's no range too far for that XPR 270, especially with Freeze running that trigger. So here we are in Texas. Austin and I got the opportunity to hunt this morning. Got to find out what all the fuss was about this Austin guy. You know, we got out in the blind and uh, kind of see what the fuss is about. This guy came in behind us, did not expect it. Austin just happened to turn around and said, the white eight's behind us. And he was on a doe, came up out of a draw, got in front of some of these cactus up here, and then he turned around and kind of was heading out of here and started running. Fortunately, he stopped and gave us a great opportunity. It, you know, it just doesn't get much better than Texas. So, what do you think, Austin? Congratulations, buddy, that's an awesome buck. Oh, it's beautiful. Big old mature deer. Good times in the Lone Star State. Congratulations, Mark, on a great kill. And congratulations, Austin, getting behind that camera and laying it down for the show. There we go. There we go. Congratulations again, Mark. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, makers of the sharpest, strongest, replaceable blade knives. You're dedicated to the hunt, putting in the time, the sweat, the energy, no matter the cost during the off season, in the heat of summer or the cold of winter. Scouting, setting up your gear and equipment and making plans through every step. When it's finally go time, when it's you versus him, that's when you give your best because nothing is worse than ending a hunt before it begins with unwanted odor. Scent Crusher, scent off, 
game on. Forecasting deer movement was just the beginning, and DeerCast has evolved into so much more, offering groundbreaking new features like DeerCast Track, our comprehensive shot tracking guide, a 10-day deer movement forecast, and DeerCast Custom, the ability to tweak our proprietary DeerCast algorithm to best represent your individual hunting areas. Because we don't want to just get you in front of that perfect whitetail. We want you to be ready for everything that comes after. So get ahead of your game and stay there with DeerCast. The old adage, you get what you pay for, still holds true today. Reconyx trail cameras have a well-earned reputation of being the most dependable, longest-lasting cameras available. Thousands of cameras we built over 10 years ago are still in use today. And if you ever do have a problem, you can rest assured that we'll stand behind our products with world-class service and support. In the end, you really do get what you pay for. So why not invest in an American-made game camera that will be there for you year after year, guaranteed. Reconyx, see what you've been missing. You grow to love the repetition. Enter at the old elm, third maple on the right. Maybe today. Maybe not. Sleep, refuel, try again. This time is different. I've elevated myself. Winchester and Drury's Natural Born is brought to you by Sink Crusher, Bass Pro and Cabela's, Ram Trucks, Reconyx Game Cameras, Nomad Apparel, Mossy Oak Camouflage, Analogics Outdoors, Deercast, and Winchester Ammunition. Congrats to Mark Breeze on harvesting a great Texas whitetail. Freeze's flat definitely lived up to the hype, and the Winchester XPR, as always, shined through. What do you think of that, Oss? That is an awesome buck. Now, let's stay in Texas as Mark Drury jumps behind the camera to film Wade Robinson, who's got the new Winchester 350 Legend in hand. Wade and I are up to bat. We're going out together and uh, we're shooting the 350 Legend. This is a new cartridge by Winchester. We were lucky enough to get to do some testing with this awesome round and uh, we were hoping to put it to work on a Lone Star Buck for Mr. Wade. Awesome morning. The only bad thing is all of our windows are frosted over. <laughs> and we didn't, you know, we're in Texas, we really didn't bring anything to address that. <laughs> we're not used to the frost in Texas, but we'll, uh, we'll manage it. Get by with it, but what are you shooting today? Got that new 350 Legend by Winchester. Really excited to, to put it to work. The 350 Legend is a new round from Winchester. It's based around a 357, and the accuracy is unbelievable. We were testing this particular round with the new 350 Legend rifle from Winchester, and we shot it out there at 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, and I mean, it was grouping like this. So we had ultra high confidence in this particular round. And one thing that we learned while using the 350, the terminal performance for a straight wall cartridge was absolutely second to none. Nice. Yeah, that, that's a mean little pill right there. They can't handle that one. No. I can only wait to see what happens on the buck. Phase 11. Here in the Lone Star State. Get this on to keep my little ears warm. It is a cold, 
bitter cold, frosty morning in Texas. Wade and I climb into that blind up there on the top of the Casey Flat. And uh, we immediately say, we've got a problem. I mean, these windows are so frosted over, we can't see anything. So we're trying to clean the windows, get them open, just to have a little bit of an option in terms of filming and shooting. And it didn't take long. And we had action up on the Casey top. within range, I think. Can you kill him there? I mean, out the back window. Oh, okay. You know, this buck comes in and he starts to tie us in knots because it's dead calm. We don't want to make any noise inside the blind because he's close. And the last thing we want to do is blow him out of there because we know this is a shooter buck. You know, he comes in and then he starts to walk away. Oh, he's turning. And because the windows are frosty, because that side of the blind was not open, uh, Wade's like, how am I gonna get this done? And he finally decides to just open the blind door. He's not, no, 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 he's not clear. That deer went about 20 or 30 yards, was down for the count, and uh, another fantastic memory made in the great state of Texas. Let's go get that buck. He didn't go far. Hey, look right there, Mark. Down here in the cactus. I think he got blood. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful Texas buck down there. Congratulations. Thanks, man. That was 
so much fun. Cold, frosty morning got heated up really quick down there in Texas. Well, it's a beautiful morning down here in the Lone Star State, and this uh, new 350 Legend really dropped this old six-pointer down here. Just an awesome, awesome day, and uh, couldn't be more happy than to be sitting behind him. You know, just a beautiful, mature buck, and uh, we had frost-covered windows, and it happened quick, and had to poke it out the back door, and got him down. Couldn't be more happy. Just awesome. Snuck out the back door on him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yep, sure did. It, it, the window in the back of the blind was too small to get the gun and the camera out of it, and uh, he snuck it downwind. And <laughs> so thankful that we sink crushed everything before we came out because, you know, he. He did catch something he didn't like, but you know he didn't just take off running. He, he kind of stuck around and was, a, was there long enough to give us a shot. So, what do you think of the new 350 Legend, buddy? <laughs> well, so far so good. You know, I was able to harvest some does uh, yesterday with it, and just couldn't just couldn't believe the performance. And then this morning, I was able to uh, shoot this big old Texas six pointer, and uh, he didn't go 30, 40 yards. Just awesome. Nice. Next week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, we will travel to the Great Lakes state of Michigan with Scott Manifold and his family. So be sure to watch as Scott's great nephew tags his first ever whitetail buck. You just killed your first buck ever. Now that's excitement. And after that, Scott Manifold makes another trek to Iowa for the muzzleloader whitetail season. All right, that's an old buck right there. Don't miss a single second of this exciting episode. The revolutionary hunting app that took the whitetail woods by storm just got better. 10 day forecast, algorithm customization, detailed tracking insights, and much more. Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. On to the next job. The next challenge. The next place. On to the next level. And all the rewards that come with it. The all-new Ram 1500. Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. Everything you need to get on to bigger things. Not a place you visit, a station on the radio, or even a state of mind. It's who you are. It finds its roots in your connection with the land and the animals that live there. You go the extra mile, and always give back more than you take. You put family first and sow seeds for the next generation to reap. You get up before dawn to see the world more clearly. That's country. Mossy Oak Breakup Country. new videos every week so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content this episode of dod tv was brought to you by leupold